Hi everyone, this is Healthy Living Talk with Okwe. On this YouTube channel, I demystify various health misconceptions and explain them to you in simple ways you can understand it, improve your health and the quality of your life. On today's episode, I will be talking about the controversial issue of ditching. But before then, please remember to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more health information in a simplified way. I'll thank you to everyone that has been engaging with this YouTube channel. I also have a book on 50 healthy living questions. You can click the link in the description box below to order your e-copy. So to talk about douching today, many women have different reasons why they douche. But let me start by explaining what douching is. Douching is different from washing your vulva area when you're having your bath. Douching is mainly using water or a mixture of fluids to wash the vagina and then it's usually used with a douching apparatus so there is a tube you insert into your vagina and then you can squeeze the spread water into it to be able to wash the area there are many reasons why many women feel comfortable with douching some say it makes them feel fresh you know that feeling where you're able to go to the toilet before you have your bath you feel you washed inside and outside that's why some women douche some women feel it also helps them to get rid of bad blood, maybe post-menstruation and all that blood didn't come out well, it makes them get rid of bad blood. Also, some people feel that they, they need to douche because it reduces the risk of sexually transmitted disease. And then they just like the overall feeling. Douching is also different from thick bath that uh, some women do after vagina delivery. So douching is really going in. So on today's episode, I will be talking about the risk associated with douching, and then you can make an informed decision if you should or not. The first risk associated with douching is that it distorts the normal flora. Normal flora are healthy bacteria that live on the skin or they're found around the vagina area that help fight foreign bacteria so you don't come down with recurrent infection but when you do you distort that normal flora and then you expose yourself to recurrent infection what you were trying to prevent in the first place from the douching the second thing is that douching increases your risk of pid what we call pelvic inflammatory disease just imagine when you're squeezing the water to go up it will go further than the vagina area it can get to the uterus because it keeps bouncing up back so you can get to the uterus and you can pass bacteria to that to the uterus to the cervix and then you eventually come down with pid what we call pelvic inflammatory disease so duchin also increases the risk of that and the third thing is that duchin also prevents you from getting pregnant early i know there are a number of reasons that could cause delay in pregnancy but duchin is one of the risks factors and finally douching causes vaginal dryness all those harsh chemicals or mixtures or fluids that you have made can cause vaginal dryness and vaginal dryness itself can increase you to the risk of getting infection and then you would have difficulty enjoying the pleasure of sex when you constantly have vaginal dryness so here i feel tips to help you care for your vagina the first one is washed with mild soap the vagina is self-cleansing it to take care of itself avoid scented soap also take care of your underpants you can see on this channel a previous episode of how to take care of your underpants avoid washing your underpants with bleaches detergents third thing is change your sanitary pad as often as required so you do not expose yourself to a recurrent infection Channel does on the previous episode of how often you should change your sanitary pad. Remember to drink a lot of water to stay healthy and to make your vagina stay healthy. Also, avoid the abuse of antibiotics because what abusing of antibiotics will do is that it will distort the normal flora and predispose you to other forms of infection. I trust this information has been helpful. If you're having issues with the quantity of the discharge or the odor from your vagina, it's time to speak to your physician or you can click the link in the description box below. 
you need to start your medication basket today. Avoid duplication of drug brands. Avoid using invalid or expired drugs. You can click the link in the description box below for your medication consultation or review. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more health information in a simplified way. Till I see you again, remember Google is your friend, but I am your professional. Cheers!